Uh, today's video is just using the laser to make a concrete kind of blocks to put solar lights on that we've got. So I thought I'd try and cut a nice shape out of the laser. So what I did was I used a bit of dry erase board and just cut out 11 pentagons. As shown there in the video, I used a 12 speed and a 60 power on the machine. And then with the 11 of them, you just want to, you want to get them into the pattern I'm showing there. And then you want to leave about a 1 8 inch gap between them and just tape them together like I'm showing there. So just go around, put them in twos like that and then line them all up, leaving your 1 8 inch gap like shown there. And then stick them ones together. This is going to be the outside because that dry erase board is quite good on that white side. It's, you know, non-stick, so I thought that would be a good thing to use. And now the back stuck together, you just want to cut some tape and this other side really fits together nice as long as you've left the little gaps enough. And if not, as you kind of pull it, it'll pull the tape off if it's too tight. So. And then I just went round and made sure all the joints were covered because I didn't want no concrete coming out of the mould. So just made sure to add quite a bit of tape on there. And that's how it is finished. So then the next thing was I got some concrete and just mixed up. I think it was about just over half a bag. That was some fibres I added into there just to make everything a little bit more sturdy. And yeah, just got it well mixed and then started dropping it into the mould. About the right amount really. So yeah, I just keep tipping until that mould's filled up. Give it a few taps, make sure it's packed right down there. And then I put it down, I took it out of the barrel because it was a little bit hard to kind of tap. And then I put it down on this lower piece of wood and just tapped it from there. I try and get as many kind of bubbles and stuff out as I could. And then I just neatened it up a little bit. And then I got the solar light and just made sure I got that as centre as I could. Just poked it in there. Got everything washed up and I let that set for 24 hours. And then here it is the next day. So yeah, the next day, cutting the mould off there and you can see it went pretty well and even the really the dry erase board would be reusable now it was a little bit of water into it but I mean if you used it again immediately it would have been fine and there you can see how it was just as it come right out of the mould so I've just got to clean it up a little bit and it'll be ready to go in the yard so yeah thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and I'll put out another video as soon as possible